With Roland Garros on the horizon, the final four took to the court at the Brussels Open. Kaya Kanepi meeting Agnieszka Radwanska in the first semi-final. Kanepi got off to a flyer, leading 4-1 and producing some brilliant tennis. The Estonian, bidding to reach her third tour final of the year, showed a deft touch at the net to clinch a second break and look on course to take the opening set against the world number three. So well done. She thoroughly deserves that, Kanepi. But Radwanska displayed all of her fighting qualities to mount a superb recovery, and she rescued both breaks to force an unlikely tie-break. Radwanska almost completes the turnaround in this opening set, gets the second break of serve back, looks a completely different Kanepi player now. Eighth seed Kanepi shrugged off the disappointment of failing to close out the set to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Radwanska in an epic tie-break only to double fault at set point. Radwanska was not going to give her opponent another chance. She first produced a fine cross-court winner. And then took the opening set in style with an ace down the middle. Yeah, what a way to close it out. Fantastic yeah, ace, the second of the set. And it took an hour. Radwanska has reached two finals and four semi-finals so far this year, but was knocked out at the first hurdle in Rome in her last outing, disrupting somewhat her preparations for the second Grand Slam of the year. The first round draw for Roland Garros was unveiled shortly before this semi-final started, bringing into sharp focus what lies ahead. And, buoyed by her comeback in the first set, Radwanska began to find the sort of form she'll need in Paris in the next two weeks. Super shot. An unforced error from Kanepi on break point, then put Radwanska in control. Game, Breaks down on the second chance for Radwanska, though. Is that the big moment? And when Kanepi went long on match point, it put the pole into the final. Game, it is just seven, long from Kaya Kanepi, who had so seven, many seven, chances in that semi-final. But hey, Agnieszka Radwanska isn't the world number three for nothing. She toughs it out, comes through in an hour and 51 minutes. It's the top seed into the final here in Brussels. Agnieszka Radwanska in straight sets. Two unseeded players contested the second semi-final. Romania's Simona Halep taking on Sweden's Sofia Ardvidsson. This was the first time these two had met on tour, and Halep, like Kanepi before her, was quickly into her stride. She broke in the very first game and then consolidated with a holder serve to lead to love. Oh, that was a fun point. Good movement from both of them, to be fair. But Arvidsson soon awoke from her early slumber and clawed back one of the breaks at the third attempt. Eventually, she does get one of the breaks back, Arvidsson. Halep remained on top in the first set, but she wasn't having it all her own way. Nothing wrong with it there. The serve, though, was too short. However, when Arvidsson went long, the first set went Halep's way six games to four. Halep gets it done first time. Six four. A good set of tennis uh, from her. Withstood Arvidsson's comeback and found herself again. Halep has set up here, winning it six games to four. Arvidsson, a winner in Memphis earlier in the year, drew first blood in the second set with a break of serve and led 3-1. But Halep struck back immediately, and after this long point, she broke again to clinch her third straight game. Nails the backhand line that she struggled with. What a time to produce it, though. Halep was in need of court time coming into this tournament, having lost her last two first-round matches. Her chances of reaching the Brussels final had looked slim on Thursday when she lost the first set of her quarter-final with Dominika Sibulkova, six love. But she managed to turn that match around to win it in three sets, and she carried the momentum into this one. The 20-year-old stepped up a gear with victory in sight, a cross-court winner, too good for Ardvidsson. That's just simply too good. But everyone needs a stroke of luck now and then, and Hallett was helped to cross the finishing line by a friendly net cord as she reached her first WTA Tour final since last May. Yeah, <laughs> what a way to finish it off as well for Simona Hallett.
6-3. Great deal of good fortune there on the match point. But in the main, she was the more solid of the two. The Romanian. Well, it's the best week of her career on the WTA today. Her first WTA Premier Level Final. Halep into the final here in Brussels.